Oh, well, you're looking at time. It's uh, Christmas. Uh, so I guess uh, it's a good time as any to welcome you all back to not my desk, but my uh, free DS. Uh, I wanted to, you know, uh, since it's, you know, as the time shows, it's Christmas and all that, I want to do something that's uh, appropriate for the holidays by uh, giving you guys a look at uh, one of the weirder, like, releases on the 3DS eShop. I don't know if I can, I can even call it, like, a release, but uh, let me go ahead and show you what I mean. You've probably already seen the title, but uh, let me go ahead and open a search bar. I'm gonna search for videos. So you remember, like, when Nintendo released, like, downloadable videos on the 3DS? They released, like, trailers for, uh, like, during E3 or something like that, they released, like, 3D game trailers that you can download on your system, and then watch offline videos in 3D, and that was so cool. I collected a whole bunch of those. But, uh, this is one of the last videos, downloadable videos, that they've ever released on the 3DS. And I'm gonna go ahead and search video, because that will bring it up. Then, uh... Games to play on Halloween. Wait, hold on. Okay, yeah, the date checks out. Uh, it's uh, five games of spooky levels to play during Halloween. So, uh, yeah, you, can, uh, you see, there's also, like, okay, we forget these, but, like, there's also, like, these, like, you know, the last one they released, the other one they released was, like, the Metroid Samus Returns trailer that they released in E3 2017, but, uh, other than that, the last video that they released is uh, this, released during October 25th of 2018. So, by that point, the 3DS, like, what, WarriorWare Go already came out, which was basically the 3DS Swan song. And the 3DS is pretty much on its way to dying. But, uh, want to get a little spooked or really spooked? Take a look at these five 3DS games that are spooky levels to play on Halloween Light Nights! And, uh, lots of people rated this, apparently. Let me look at the... Suited for everyone. And for casual play. Yeah, why not, uh? Seeing it's December 25th, I figured we could check out some games to play on Halloween. Alright, time to check out some games to play during the holiday season, I, I, I mean Halloween, yeah, during Halloween. You know, they could've, like, it's 2018, they released this in 2018, they could've, you know, tweeted the video, posted it on YouTube. But no, they chose to make it a 3DS downloadable, blah, downloadable video, so, uh, okay, created extra data. We needed the extra data to know, I need to know what games I want to play during Halloween. I need to know, this is important information, dude. Alright, let's check this. I just love, like, the 3DS UIs, like, even for stuff like video players, they have, like, all these- Okay, I don't want to spoil myself, I'm just gonna press the first video option. I hope Nintendo doesn't copyright claim this, but, uh... Ooh. Five games of spooky levels, and, uh, of course Luigi's Mansion, it, ca it came out in 2018 as well, right? Yeah, the first, uh, the remake of the first Luigi's Mansion. It was actually a solid game. Like, the 3DS, at the end of its life, had, like, lots of- Oh, that frame rate. <laughs> they showed it. Animal Crossing New Leaf. Of course, Horizons wasn't out yet. It was 2018. But yeah, the 3DS really saw a lot of, like, ports at the end of its life. Captain Toad! How many spooky levels did Captain Toad have? Also, Captain Toad 3DS did exist. <laughs> I hope no one, no one forgot about it, but yeah, it did exist. It was a pretty good port as well, from what I've heard. And Mario Kart 7. Yes, Luigi's Mansion. There's like one level, and... <laughs> and, uh, okay. Yokai Watch Blasters. I mean... Is it really a spooky level, or just a regular... It's a city that's populated by, like, spooky yokai or something like that. I haven't played the game, but, like... Available now in stores and on Nintendo eShop, but not for long because uh, stores stopped selling like 3DS games or something. At least in here, I don't know about like the America or anything. But uh, uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and see what we got. Ooh, Mario. new 2DS XL opens to review. Luigi's Mansion. It's time for Luigi to face his fears. Ooh, he'll need to solve mind-bending puzzles. Take on. Yep. To hurt himself. Try not to hurt himself. Is trapped forever. Luigi's Mansion, a new oh no. XL. But yeah, the, the 3DS saw like, uh, where was, what was I talking about previously? The 3DS saw a lot of ports at the end of its life, and honestly, like the last Nintendo published game for the 3DS, I believe, like retail-wise, was Kirby's Extra Epic Yarn. 
But honestly, I still see WarriorWare Gold as like the 3DS One song. It just like used the 3DS ability so well. Like for all of the ports that the 3DS saw, like Luigi's Mansion, Captain Toad, Kirby's Epic Yarn, a lot of people were just asking, why didn't they put this on the Switch or something? Like WarriorWare, you can't put it on the Switch, but this video is not about WarriorWare, it's about Halloween. We're gonna look at Captain Toad. Captain Toad was actually a really good 3DS port. A uh, fun fact. Oh. Wait, are they gonna show the Switch version? Did they even show the 3DS port? It's the, it's the, they're showing... This is false advertising. I demand a refund. <laughs> for my downloadable video. It, like, it's not even like Halloween themed. Okay, there's the Halloween level. I guess. Yeah, they're showing support- <laughs> they're showing video of the Switch version. They're not even showing the 3DS version for some reason. But a fun fact, Captain Toad- the Captain Toad port actually did start out as the 3DS version. So the initial plan was to make a 3DS port of the game, and then the Switch came out, and then the dev team was like, sure, why not? And now everyone remembers the Switch version instead of the 3DS one, even though the 3DS one was actually really solid and kept a lot of features from the Switch version, including the Odyssey levels, which was a, a pretty interesting technical feat. Yeah, I got the... I'm actually wondering if I should like find a copy of those because it was just a very fascinating like Wii U to 3DS port. Even more fascinating than Poochie and Yoshi's Willy World, I'd say, but uh... That's Captain Toad. Ooh, Animal Crossing. I'm gonna focus on, like, the Halloween aspect. Oh. It's gonna be, like, regular Animal Crossing footage. Home to new discoveries every day. I'm, gonna go I'm not gonna get into, like, the New Leaf versus New Horizons debacle, debacle, but, uh... I did play New Leaf, but, like, I kind of, like, just sort of stopped it. Stopped playing it for some reason. I was, like, playing it in, 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 in anticipation of New Horizons. But, uh... Maybe because I knew it, the Switch version was coming, I just kind of stopped playing the 3DS version. But I did enjoy it, but like, you know... There's a, there is like lots of cool stuff to do in the 3DS version that the Switch version doesn't have yet, even though I was com completely content just playing New Horizons. I don't know, that's just me. I put in like so many hours in New Horizons, but uh... They're not gonna show like the, the spooky season, like... You made a downloadable video. That's Halloween theme, talking about spooky levels playing during Halloween. But you're just gonna put in like regular game trailers into the. Yeah. Oh, look at all the different seasons. Can, can, can you can you at least show Halloween? No, no, no. Okay. Help your town grow. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna like skip for a little bit. I'm gonna like if I show game trailers in my footage, and then I was gonna copyright claim this. I'm gonna keep talking over it. But uh, yeah, there's a trailer for the Welcome Amiibo update. Released in 2016, so it was really only like two years old at this point, I guess. Makes sense to promote it. But uh, yeah, Nintendo, like, the 3DS was really reliant on like evergreen titles as Nintendo likes to put them. So stuff like Animal Crossing, 3D Land, Mario Kart 7, they can still like put money towards marketing them in like 2018, 2019. Like 3D Land got a television commercial with the new 2DS XL in 2018, while 3D World got nothing. So, uh, that's an interesting case, but, uh, Mario Kart 7, speaking of which... Oh, it's gonna be a regular... <laughs> it's gonna be a regular Mario Kart 7 commercial. Like, they're really trying to, like, pushing it. They're kind of stressed, like, they're kind of stretching out a little bit, just talking like, Yeah, Mario Kart 7 is a game with spooky levels to play during Halloween. There's, like, what, one level tops? <laughs> that, like, Luigi's Mansion? That had really had a spooky theme? What other, what other levels in this game? I don't think there were any at all, actually, like... This entire trailer is just... Oh, happy footage, like, come on, I want, I want, I want, I want, I want to see some Halloween footage, man! It's December 25th, let me have this! Okay, uh... Yo-Kai Watch Blasters. I don't know, I, I, I don't play Yo-Kai Watch, but, uh... Ooh. It's a terrible phenomenon when evil Yo-Kai run rampant in the streets. There are Yo-Kai oh, no. just burning in their hearts who will protect the little guys. Everyone, attack! Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty sure the spooky theme aspect of this is like, the spooky yokai. <laughs> Ooh, Nintendo 2DS is $79.99! I should get one of those. This is definitely not what I'm playing this on right now. But, uh, yeah, I, I really don't know why. <laughs> I just figured it was very interesting that Nintendo just decides to randomly release this in 2018. 
downloadable video about 3DS games with spooky levels. They really could have gone this like any other way. They could have made a tweet, they could have like posted a YouTube video. And some guy was put in charge of putting together a downloadable video just having game trailers in it. With Luigi's Mansion. Really like the big spooky release was Luigi's Mansion. That was really it. Semi spooky video. It wasn't even all spooky. Come on guys. You gotta make it 100% spooky or not spooky at all. I guess I'm gonna talk about copyright info. Luigi's Mansion, trademarks of Nintendo, trademarks of Nintendo, trademarks of Nintendo, trademarks of Nintendo. Uh, everything is a trademark of Nintendo. You that okay? And uh, yeah, that is it for five spooky levels to play during Halloween. I hope this really got you into the spirits of uh oh oh yeah it's um okay. All joking aside, <laughs> I just figured this was probably something random that I would find interesting to look at for. Not for uh, today specifically, but I just figured it'd be an interesting topic to cover. So, uh, this aside, I uh, hope you guys are having a fun Christmas wherever you are. Like, you know, stay safe and all that. But, uh, yeah, I just figured, ha, huh, it'd be funny if I talked about spooky levels to play during Halloween on Christmas, right? That's the joke. Please laugh. I'm sorry. Okay, but I did hope, I did, I did hope you still at least enjoyed this, but, uh... And if you didn't know this existed before, now you know, because I, I'm somehow I'm really, really into obscure Nintendo trivia. Or just random stuff like this. Like, did you know Nintendo released a update for Swap Note? That they just called Swap Note Remastered and it didn't even do anything in 2020? Like, this is the type of obscure trivia I have. Uh, I really don't know what I'm doing with my life. Merry Christmas! <laughs>